In this video, you'll learn how to discover your newly installed appliance and begin the initial configuration process using the PowerStore Discovery Utility. The Discovery Utility can help you discover the unconfigured base enclosure on the network if you're remote or don't have access to the system. If you're physically present where the base enclosure is installed, refer to the PowerStore Quick Start Guide for help using a direct connection to discover the appliance. First, make sure you have a workstation, laptop, or virtual machine to run the PowerStore Discovery Utility. Download the utility from the Dell support site and run it on the workstation. Make sure that your workstation, laptop, or virtual machine meets the requirements shown. There are a few things you need to do before running the Discovery Utility to ensure that you can find the unconfigured appliances on the network. First, temporarily disable the firewall on your workstation. You should also temporarily disable any other security applications on your workstation, such as antivirus software. If you can't disable your firewall in antivirus software, add port 5353 and the Discovery Utility to the exclusion list of any firewall and antivirus software running on the workstation. Refer to your antivirus and firewall documentation for more information. Next, ensure that your workstation or virtual machine is connected directly to the same switch that the base enclosure is cabled to, or is on the same VLAN as the native or untagged network of the PowerStore Management Network connection. Now create a second network adapter that uses the same native or untagged network as the PowerStore Management Network connection. Verify that there's an IP address starting with 169.254.x.x slash 16 subnet available that you can use as the IP address of the second network adapter. If that IP address is not available, set the IP address of the second network adapter to 169.254.1.2 with netmask 255.255.0.0 and no gateway address defined. This address cannot be overwritten by any other address ranges, whether you use DHCP or static IP addresses. To avoid duplicate IP addresses, ensure that there's only one laptop or virtual machine in the same native or untagged network with the 169.254.x.x IP address that you set up. Finally, you can use the network validation tool for PowerStore to make sure that your networks are correctly configured. Download the NVT from Dell EMC Central Solutions at the link shown on screen. Now you're ready to discover your new appliance. First, launch the PowerStore Discovery Utility from the workstation. Select the unconfigured appliance that you want to use to create a cluster. Next, complete the initial configuration process. Use the information you recorded in the initial configuration worksheet to help you complete initial configuration. After you complete the initial configuration process, you're ready to use PowerStore Manager. For recommended next steps for the first time you log on, refer to the Setting Up PowerStore Manager guide. For more information and help with other aspects of your PowerStore system, Visit the PowerStore documentation page at dell.com slash PowerStore Docs.